what, what's the next stage of Gary's life look like? Uh, well, I, you know, I tend to think um, that, uh, you know, I've, I've got uh, a couple boys uh, that uh, are interested in business. Mm-hmm. They're interested in, uh, they've, gr- they've grown up in a very entrepreneurial and entrepreneurship yeah, environment. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they, they have, uh, you know, when they would go to a wedding, uh, you know, we would talk about, oh, you could set up a coat rack. It's, <laughs> it's February. And it's snowing out. Yeah. And so they would set up a coat rack and charge, you know, uh, a, a donation there to hang go. people's coats and all that stuff. So they've grown up in that environment of starting these little businesses. And yeah. they've gone to a lot of events and been a part of a lot of stuff. So uh, I think, uh, you know, part of uh, my next uh, effort will be to mentor them and 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 see if, uh, if there's areas that they might want to participate and uh, see if they can prove themselves uh, in the in the business community and and what we do and we'll see so you know I think that's a op- uh, future opportunity is to, uh, is to do that uh, the other one is continue to support the community and and I think I think one of the challenges that we have right now in Wichita is generational right so we talk a lot about in Wichita about How do we get our young people to stay? Mm -hmm. How do we get them to invest in Wichita? And so to me, the question is the answer. If we invest in them, then they're going to stay in the community. And so I think our big challenge right now in the community, and I'm I'm on the Greater Wichita Partnership Exec Board, which is probably the most active group trying to move uh, Wichita forward economically Mm -hmm. and on jobs, on uh, downtown yeah. on a lot of different initiatives and but what we need to do now is we need to include kids that are in elementary junior high high school and college in that process mm-hmm. not just young and, adults and, yeah. and and right and not just have them at the table because every generation says oh well you know that other generation they're not quite as worth as our generation or the generation <laughs> before and that's a, that tells me there's a communication disconnect. It's not that they're different in value. It's just that they might communicate differently or they might uh, see things. They might operate in a little bit different uh, capacity than we do that we're not used to, right? So it's incumbent upon us to make them comfortable uh, with being in that environment. But we do need to make them a part of the process. And that's not just observing that's participating. So these different organizations, some of the big push I've been trying to have a dialogue around and really get us to activate on, how do we get elementary kids and junior high kids and college uh, uh, kids to be involved in these initiatives and actually at the table, coming up with solutions and then being part of the strategy and the tactics to execute on those. Mm. And when we do that, and, and we have done it uh, somewhat in the entrepreneurship task force, when we've done that, we know that when we put uh, those individuals, those young individuals in places of responsibility, one, they do a great job. Two, they're very successful at doing it. And three, they come back and say, why would I go somewhere else? I'm going to go to Wichita State right here, or Friends or Butler or whatever. I'm going to go and I'm going to get my education here. And I've decided that this is the place for me because why would I go anywhere else when I can rub elbows with all these CEOs, these leaders? Why would I go somewhere else when I can rub elbows with the deans at the college yeah. who's part of those groups? So when they see all that leadership and the mayor and the city council who are also in the, that are part of those organizations and they're working with them on a daily basis, they come back and say, well, why would I go somewhere else? Mm-hmm. I've got all the connections and mentorship here and support here. And what we have found is those individuals want to stay and have stayed. What we need to do is start like a business. We need to start to scale it. Mm. And so we know it works. It's a full circle moment. Right? It is. And, yeah, and we've so tested it. Yeah. So now how do we scale that up into real impact? And so I think that's where we're at in all, all the initiatives that we're doing. How do we make that impact generational? Mm. So that we're not every 10 years 
answering, oh, wow, you know, this generation are, is now 50s and 60s, and we did all of this, but then there's, there's not a connection to the next generation. Mm, yeah. Because this needs to live on and be generational going forward. And if we do that, then I think we've created something that is really impactful. Yeah. So it becomes, it becomes systemic to the DNA of all of our kids. Because we know a kid that, draw, that grows up in an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurship environment is eight times more likely to be entrepreneurial or start an entrepreneurship uh, venture. And so we have to start that generationally when they're young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Checks out. I feel like there has been a lot of opportunities for that. But yeah, it's getting, yeah, it's sure, getting, it's sure, getting better, sure. but we could do it at, at a much better scale. And that's that's our challenge. We'll get on that. Mm -hmm. There yeah, we go. Yeah, it's... You guys are a part of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have gotten a few... Uh, young entrepreneurs on here as well for absolutely their business um so yeah it, it's all it's cool seeing this network grow of uh, starting a podcast so we're excited yeah. to continue that but yeah